right, today we're going to be looking at the Lavazza Espresso Point uh, home machine that a client has brought in. And um, as usual, he's not sure what the, uh, what the problem is, so we're going to have to explore that first. Let me go ahead and go get a pod to uh, put into the machine. All right, let's go ahead and turn the unit on and see what she does when she warms up. All right, the unit just turned on. We're gonna go ahead and put a pot in. I'm gonna purge the unit first. We always like to make sure that there's water throughout the whole unit. the unit is purged of any air so that we can uh, get a nice solid shot of espresso without trying to push air through the espresso and let's see what we get push a medium medium button doesn't work so large button work no small button work no does the steam button work? Steam button works. You know, the water button works. And that button doesn't work either. All right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna slave in a new panel and see if, uh, if that gives us an answer, let me go ahead and uh, put the new panel in. All right, so as you can see, I've got the new button poured slaved in there. And now we'll wait for it to heat back up. Well, now we know that the button board is the problem. As soon as this coffee is done being made, I'm going to go ahead, change out the button board, and uh, then we'll go ahead and retest the machine again, make sure it's in good shape after it's all been put together. So when you're replacing the button panel, it's easiest if you take the door off so that you can make sure that you wind the ribbon properly through the left side of the boiler and onto the board. Make sure you note you should only stick these once. It has a 3M sticky on the back, and if you stick it more than once, there's a good chance it won't stay. All right, now she's put back together. We're gonna give her a final test run, make sure that she is uh, truly in good shape. is a nice shot of Lavazza coffee. 